Hello, people of the internet. My name is Combat Wombat. As all of you are aware, I am the dankest girl gamer of all time. I rival the gaming prowess of Tfue, Gandhi, and every single FaZe Clan member who ever existed. As I'm proving in my totally elite Team Fortress 2 gameplay there behind me. Nah, I'm kidding. I suck large dongs at TF2 and pretty much every competitive game. I mostly play video games for fun and to have a good time. But apparently that makes me a horrible human being, according to Ninja. And anyone that ever uses the excuse it's just a game is a horrible human being. Oh, jeez. Ninja, why? First you questioned why NFL kickers miss field goals, now this. Speaking of which, I have to talk about that real quick. I'll never understand how college and NFL teams allow kickers that just miss kicks. I feel like there has to be pools of kickers in the US that won't miss simple kicks, or snappers that won't mess up the snaps. I don't know man, it seems so silly. Would love opinions on this. Then the Chad himself, Ducky the Gamer, swooped in with his opinion and amazing response. I'll never understand how pro Fortnite players just miss shots. I feel like there has to be pools of pro players who can just click on their heads and hit every shot with 100% accuracy. Just seems so silly. And of course, Ninja wasn't having any of that, so he swooped on in with this gem of a response. This is the duck squeak sound effect, reply ever. Fortnite requires movement, editing, building, rotating, and hitting shots. There are not positions in Fortnite. A kicker's job is literally to kick. Horrible analogy. Kind of embarrassing. Ninja, what's embarrassing is that you have no idea what you're talking about. NFL and college kickers have to deal with a myriad of different things when they kick. It's actually a physical job and it's harder than it looks. They have to think about wind speed, bad angles on their kicks, the snapper or the person holding the football could mess it up by having the laces face the kicker, the game could be on the line and the kicker might be nervous, having thousands of people watching them. All you have to do is move your wrist a tiny bit to aim at someone in Fortnite. It's not even comparable to what an NFL kicker has to do. In fact, I would love to see you actually try to kick a field goal yourself, in different weather conditions too. Anyways, we're not here to talk about Ninja's ignorance on how athletic sports work, we're here to talk about something just as ridiculous. Ninja recently had this rant on Twitter. The phrase, it's just a game, is such a weak mindset. You are okay with what happened, losing, imperfection of a craft. When you stop getting angry after losing, you've lost twice. There's always something to learn, and always room for improvement. Never settle. Whoa, I didn't know we were competing for Guy Fieri's affection here. Why so serious? Way to demonstrate to the entire internet how out of touch and delusional Fortnite has made you, Ninja. Seriously, I'm starting to think that Fortnite actually messes with people's brains. It would explain the ligma. Imperfection of a craft. Beat me with a roll of toilet paper. You're not an artist, Ninja. You're not, I don't know, a smith forging the perfect dildo? You're streaming a kid's game on Mixer. Chill. When you've stopped getting angry, you've lost twice. Never settle. Could you be any more, I'm sorry to say it, but cringeworthy? You talk like you're an MMA fighter or something? It's not that serious. I think you can handle not getting the epic victory royale on occasion. I don't know about the rest of you, but if I was making millions of dollars to play a video game professionally, I wouldn't dropkick my computer monitor every time I lost or something. I think I'd just swallow that fat L and move on. People lose all the time at games and even in real sports. You can't win them all. Why do you think you have to be the paragon of gaming perfection, Ninja? I'm pretty sure Tfue is better than you at Fortnite anyway, so that's really just a lost cause at this point. You know, it would be bad enough with just this really dumb tweet. Ninja seems pretty good at posting really bad opinions on Twitter, but no. He also ranted on stream. Oh boy. If anyone ever uses the excuse, it's just a game, I'm gonna lose my mind. Why? Fortnite is a game, you silly Kool-Aid man ripoff. If you get super salty about Fortnite, people are going to remind you that it's dumb to get upset over it because it's just a game, bro. Why you have to be mad? Imagine telling LeBron James, Tom Brady, that when, that they're, when, they're, when they're pissed off after losing a game, that it's just a game. Like... <laughs> Did you just compare yourself to LeBron James and Tom Brady, Ninja? What? 
You have officially jumped the jump pad, my smurf-haired friend. What you do is not in any way comparable to an athlete. I know we've had this weird habit of calling esports gamers athletes, but no, you're not an athlete. If you're an athlete, then I'm an interdimensional porn star here to save the world from the coronavirus with the power of oversized titties. I've played sports, and I play games. I've never been good at either of them, but I can tell you sports are a lot more of a personal investment and commitment, and are obviously much harder, than playing video games. How full of yourself do you have to be to compare yourself to athletes like Tom Brady and LeBron James? At least in basketball and football, you're putting your body on the line to win the game. You're putting in blood, sweat, and tears, and years of working out and training and risking injuring yourself to win games. So maybe it's reasonable for them to be super serious about it and get angry when they lose. Again, you just press W, A, S, and D on your keyboard and move your wrist around slightly to move a mouse. You hard worker, you. I'm not saying that it isn't difficult to be good at Fortnite and to continue being good at it, but for God's sake, stop overplaying the importance of it. I'm gonna lose- like, are you kidding me? You're so stupid. You heard it here first, boys and girls. If you think games are just games, you're stupid. Don't you just love how Ninja talks down to his viewers anytime he gets upset? It's so quirky. It's about- it's the competitive nature, bro. It's about respect, bro. It's about pride. I don't know what you're going on about respect and pride for, like this is a Rocky movie or something, but I can tell you that you take your job far too seriously. Why don't you just have fun with it? Because let's be honest, Ninja, you are honestly overpaid to do what you do. You make money comparable to some professional athletes and way more than what important jobs like doctors make to just play a computer game. I'm not knocking you for that. It's cool and good for you. It's awesome that you're lucky enough to have a job like that. Most people would kickbox a zebra to do what you do for a living instead of their 9 to 5, 40 hour a week boring job. So stop pretending like you're hardcore, hardworking, gritting your teeth trying to be the very best, like you're on that daily grind trying to become the best Fortnite gamer girl the world has ever seen. When it really isn't that serious, it literally is just a game. Your job is to be entertaining as a streamer. You do that by being good at the game. Some do it by just being funny and fun to watch. But you act like there's a ton on the line or that there are high stakes. It's not even a big deal if you don't win a game of Fortnite. You act like all of your fans are just gonna all stop watching you if you lose a couple of times. It's so much bigger than a video game. It really isn't, though. In what way is Fortnite more than a video game? Just because you play it professionally? You have really high opinions of yourself if you think what you're doing is this grandiose and important thing. It's not. You're just a streamer. Chill out. And anyone that ever uses the excuse it's just a game is a horrible human being and is lazy. You're a lazy human being. There it is, the big... OOF moment. If you think video games aren't worth getting angry over and should just be for fun, you're a horrible human being. Not only that, but you're lazy too. I'm just surprised he didn't call us worthless for good measure. Whatever happened to just enjoying video games? Did I miss something? Since when was it a requirement to try to be good at games? I know that some people enjoy trying to get good at games and that's their thing, but if you're like me, you just play video games to have fun. I don't sit around and grind to be the very best at every single game I play. As you can tell by the gameplay behind me, I suck giant dookie salad at TF2. I miss shots all the time. It's embarrassing. It's why my father left. Ninja is so delusional and so ingrained in the Fortnite competitive mindset that he literally thinks if you play games casually, you're a horrible human being. He's having a meltdown on stream over his fans telling him Fortnite is just a game because he constantly gets angry at it when he doesn't win. He's constantly blaming stream snipers or the game itself when he loses. Him flipping out at his chat and treating them like complete skunk feces is becoming a habit of his. He's becoming an entitled self-important turd snack, honestly. First he says NFL kickers should never miss kicks because that's their job, and now he says you're a terrible human being if you don't get on that daily grind on Fortnite. What a joke. 
Anyways, that's all I had to say about this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a good one. A huge thank you to my Patreon sponsors and channel members. They're the dankest squad around. Also, you should watch some of my other videos. I mean, if you want. It's cool if you don't. Please watch.